Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees, grow some food, grow something. Let's get started. Good morning family all right so today i want to talk to you guys about some products that i use that are really really inexpensive so i don't know i know i found out recently that um, not everywhere has a 99 cent only store not just a 99 cent store but a 99 cent only store but um if you do they have gardening products that a lot of people don't think about now because of the issues that i have with squirrels and skunks i go there and i find a lot of products that i need so one of the first things that i found at their store was this garden netting so these nets are 32 feet long and they are approximately four feet wide these are 99 cents I have cut them up to different lengths and I use them all over the garden to help with the squirrels and the skunks. I haven't been able to find this this year. Once they stopped carrying it last season, I haven't been able to find it this season. But this year, my purchase with them are these animal repellent mats. These mats come two in a pack. They come at this length and they're 99 cents. They're easily cut. I have my titanium scissors and I just cut them. They cut fairly easy. And um, as you can see, these are really sturdy. I've seen everyone use things from plastic forks, um, chopsticks, skewers <laughs> um, you name it but these are actually pre-made like i said they're pretty sturdy and um, you cut them to any length you need and you just lay them down where you need them there is a smaller part that comes out the bottom that helps grip the soil for you while the larger part and i love the little honeycomb shape because you know what you can actually sow seeds in between here and it will prevent the animal from you know digging up your roots if you do not have a 99 cent only store in your area this product is made by garden ease and so is the net so i don't know if you can look the product up online but it's distributed by momentum brands and I know like places like the Dollar Tree, if you order in bulk, you can actually order online. So it won't hurt to actually look it up to see um, if the company will ship to wherever you are, especially if you need a lot of these. So today I am going to be fixing a problem that I have. Every morning when I come out here, the squirrels have dug up around my little broccoli plant over here. So I'm going to go ahead and place some mats around it.
So hopefully that will deter the squirrels and the skunks. I haven't had a problem with the skunks uh, since the temperatures dropped. But um, the squirrels are out here every day. This was an easy solution and it cost me a dollar. So another feature that they do have, if you need longer pieces, these will connect. So as you can see, there's a hole there and then they have that piece on the end here and that just goes into the hole and it will make one long mat for you. So as you guys can see, these nets, they stretch pretty good. So they're about four feet. I still got room on this side to stretch more. And uh, this is part of another one that I cut. Because like I said, they are, what was that, 32 feet long. I just use it to cover the top of this bed. But I've had it on top of all of these beds at one point. But it's an excellent buy, you guys. If you've got problems with critters or birds picking your food before you can get to it. And it's only gonna cost you 99 cents. And you guys know at least once a year, I hit up the 99 cent only store. And uh, it's usually right after the beginning of the year. So I've been hitting them up pretty regularly now, going to different ones to see what they have because each one carries something different, especially when it comes to the plants. So this year, their plants are $1.49. Some are still 99 cents, but they have a lot that are $1.49, $1.99, and $2.99, depending on what you're looking for. Most of their succulents are $2.99. A lot of their flowers now are anywhere from 99 cents to $1.49. So as you can see, I've been picking up quite a bit, including ornamentals. They had their yellow pear tomatoes, the black cobra hot peppers, the cherry red tomatoes, and the patio type tomatoes. So I grabbed two of the black cobra peppers because I've never seen them before. So just want to try them out. My hubby and my daughter are the pepper people, not me. But um, never hurts to try anything. So as you can see, they got violas, calendulas, snapdragons, pansies, primrose, and a lot more. I just usually choose what I like. Now, if you missed out on the Dollar Tree stackable containers, the 99 cent only store has their own version also. I found these in black and terracotta. They're a little bit different of a shape and they're a little bit smaller, but they are also 99 cents. They also have hanging baskets, and I like these because they were a twine. These were $2.49. I got two of them because I want to hang them off of my arbor back there. Now, I spoke with you guys earlier about all the things that I use to deter pests and things like that in the garden, but did you know that they also have peat pots and the sails? And these are, I think there's five in here, four. There's four in here. The peat pots are eight. And uh, these are 99 cents. I also buy containers there. And these are eight in a pack. And they're also 99 cents. These are good for starting melons and cucumbers, things that you might wanna let grow a little bit longer inside until the weather warms up and then you can transplant them. So this allows them to get a little bit bigger than the tiny cells. Now here is where the fun stuff comes in for me because you know what? They also have seeds. 
have a ton of seeds right now after hitting up the Dollar Tree, but um, couldn't pass up these. Their seeds are 59 cents a pack, but you know what? They don't ring up that. They actually rang up 25 cents. And they have bulbs. The bulbs are 99 cents a pack. And there's about five in each one of those. The gladiolas, there are four in each one. I have planted their gladiolas before, and you know what? They come back every year. They actually sprout it and they come back. So it's been a little hit and miss on them. I did plant some other ones that didn't come up. So I don't know, it's 99 cents, so I figured I'd uh, give it a shot. As you can see, they've got buttercups, buttercups, African corn lilies, they've got irises. Um, these are for a cut flower garden. So it's just a mixture of everything from zinnias to sunflowers to everything that's you know all in there. But I um, thought these colors were beautiful and uh, just wanted to give them a try. Okay, so I'm done for today with covering the areas that um, I have an issue with creatures coming through and digging, especially over here where I have these onions and the beans that I haven't decided to cut down yet. You can see I got a spot there, so I think I'm gonna put a strip along there also. But um, yeah, hopefully this will do it. And like I said, two strips for 99 cents and uh, so far so good so uh, if you guys haven't checked out your 99 cents only stores go and check them out and see what you can find Especially if you're growing tomatoes and peppers, flowers, and your ornamentals. You can't beat 99 cents or even $1.49. So you guys have a blessed one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.